First, we are learning new details tonight about a man Austin police are calling a serial killer. Thanks for joining us. I'm Daniel Marin. And I'm Britt Moreno. New tonight, a former Travis County judge tells us Raul Mesa slipped through the cracks of the criminal justice system. This after he was convicted of killing an eight-year-old girl back in the 80s. Today, police also revealed he confessed to murdering two others, his 80-year-old roommate earlier this month, and a woman in her 60s who was killed four years ago. So now they're looking to see if he may be responsible for other cold cases. Now KXAN's Brianna Hollis follows this developing story for us tonight. And Brianna, the disturbing details of this case don't stop here. Guys, unfortunately not. This next deal particularly chilling. He also told police once they arrested him, he was prepared to kill again. Investigators think he could be linked to up to 10 more murders. And tonight we spoke to a close friend of the woman killed in 2019. Tell me she got murdered. I was like, what? Sergio Rodriguez of East Austin is talking about a woman named Gloria Lofton. She knew me since I was a little kid. We first heard her name Tuesday from police telling us this man, Raul Meza, implicated himself in her 2019 murder. That's just not right, man. Moving north to Pflugerville. It's crazy. It's crazy. Julio uh, Flores again, lives just houses uh, down from where police say Meza confessed to killing his roommate, Jesse Fraga. The latest case, which was just this month, prompting officials to call Mesa a serial killer. Very surprising and uh, um, I'm a little concerned. Mesa's chilling rap sheet dates back to his teenage years in the 70s, where he got out five years into a 20-year sentence for aggravated robbery. While still on parole for that case, he murdered eight-year-old Kendra Page. And this is where his storyline repeats. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison for the little girl's murder, but got out 11 years later. And to continue to commit these type of heinous offenses, it's this community has not been safe. The community echoed this sentiment from retired Travis County Judge Charlie Baird protesting Mesa's release. That is a heinous offense. The death of a child that also involves sexual assault is is a heinous offense. And the 30 year sentence to me appears to be just excessively uh, light. And it's killed how many people we don't know. So here's a serial killer that that uh, justice was not served. So it was a travesty of justice. And we do plan to get a hold of court documents tomorrow morning that will shed further light on Mesa's most recent cases. And Bree, we understand that a state law that was in place in the 1980s when Mesa killed the little girl, uh, that's what contributed to him getting out early? Yes, so retired judge Charlie Baird, who you heard from in my story there, says that actually kind of piggybacked on what he already called a light sentence. So what it did, guys, is it provided good credit for good behavior. Mm -hmm spent behind bars and what's really interesting Baird says that this was mandatory back then so there was really no choice but to let Mesa out based on that law and he also says that this law is no longer in our in effect in part because of this situation. Thank you so much for breaking that down for us Bree and to recap everything for you all tonight police have now connected Mesa to four known victims. They say he shot and injured a man in a convenience store when he was 15 years old. He went on to kill Eight-year-old Kendra Page in 1982, which you just heard in Brianna's story. And today they say he confessed to killing Gloria Lofton in 2019 and his roommate, 80-year-old Jesse Fraga, just days ago. Now, Austin police detectives also say they're looking into eight to ten more cold cases Mesa may be connected to. And that number could rise as authorities continue to investigate. And investigators expressed frustration today with the justice system and why Mesa got a plea deal in the murder of that little girl all those years ago. We were shocked, um, disappointed, uh, with no really explanation as to, to why this case didn't go to trial. Now, we looked back at our archives and found an answer. The lead prosecutor on the case was Rosemary Lemberg. She would later become district attorney. She told us back in 2002 that there just wasn't enough evidence to seek a life or death punishment. We knew we could put him close to the scene and then, in fact, close to Kendra because his fingerprints were on her bicycle. But we had no trace evidence directly linking him, linking him to the actual murder or sexual assault. And so we negotiated a plea that would send him to the penitentiary for 30 years. But as Brianna mentioned, he was able to get out much earlier than his 30 year sentence. We've been closely following this case since Pflugerville police first revealed they were looking for Mesa as a person of interest. 
And then just last week, we spoke to Kendra Page's sister about this loss and how it still impacts her today. It makes me watch behind my shoulder. I was very cautious with my girls. Um, wouldn't let them out of my sight. Now, when we followed up and spoke to her later today, she said she was relieved that he was captured, but she's upset he's now linked to even more murders.